All right, this is Sherilyn Kenyon, who is here at Comic-Con to promote her latest book at Death Store. Is that uh, correct? Well, or? That one's been out for a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the latest book though, right? right? right. Okay. So, well, first of all, can you basically tell what you're working on cur currently right now? Um, well, um, you know, doing edits and such, but uh, the next book out will be the finished, the, oh my gosh, the continuation, of the, it, it's day five of the convention, <laughs> I have the wrong brain, um, it's the, the, not, well it is the continuation of the trilogy, um, what is the name of the book, it is day five, I said that right? <laughs> It at out Death Store, yeah, okay, there yeah. We go. <laughs> at Death Store, which is the, the last Dead, book of the trilogy, Dead Man's Crossing, Dead Man's Cross. okay, yeah. oh yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and you've been at, at Con uh, many several years, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, 15, yeah. What, what, you know, what do you love most about yeah. Comic Con oh, the and people. yeah, and the swag, yeah, yeah, right, and like just talking about you know your books and your characters and stuff you know oh, yeah. like I said you have a, a big fan base and yeah, stuff yeah. what like what have you learned that the fans love the most about your your books and your characters um, well most of the characters I mean yeah thank goodness <laughs> yeah right but as far as writing goes you've you know you've have so many books out um does it get easier or does it get harder as you continue writing or <laughs> is there like is it just a different challenge i mean you know what is it that you know that keeps you going i guess well the characters are what keep me going but now, my son's you know on his second book now and he's like mom oh, my favorite story that i love to tell fans is you know i i work down in the basement of my house my son's up to the second floor but third floor from where i work uh -huh. and, but he's a tiny little skinny thing that he walks like an elephant and so you can hear it oh, okay you know, okay and i have those lights that if you touch them they do they strobe on and off he walks so heavily okay and so i heard the elephant one day coming down he threw himself in my floor oh god he's writhing around the floor oh, oh, god. <laughs> Mom, I've got a character. He's supposed to be on this planet doing this thing with this character. They won't even talk. You have no idea how hard it is to write a book. <laughs> like, seriously. You should try while you're wrangling three kids and an elephant's pumping over your head with strobe lights. And so, yeah, no. It, it's always going to be that way. And that's what I keep telling the son, you know, with him. Going through. Well, and look. He wrote one and published one. Oh wow! So, but um, yeah. I mean, it, no. It, you know, I'm, I've done what 200 now, and you still have that voice in your head going suck, 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 suck. So I have friends who finish it. It doesn't suck as much as you think. It's, yeah. We're waiting on it. You know, you're like, are you sure? Uh -huh. but, yeah, I mean, you're always going to have those doubts. It's, I think what keeps us. I like to think I got better as I've gotten older. You know, I wrote the first one at 18. So, oh wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I <no>. mean, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Sorry, that's a lot of books. I should say. Sorry, no, I did no. not mean it that way. No, my children remind me all the time. I rode a dinosaur to school. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, no, I'm not like that. Oh, I no, swear. Because no, no, no. I have you know, I was role play playing you know D and D with you, and my son got it. And he's like. Mom, it's from 19... Oh, God, no, not that side. Oh, my God, it's from 1982. It's like, no, no. <laughs> like, you know, obviously, it's modern, modern, you know, from 18 years ago to now. Mm -hmm. Like, do you see yourself changing the way that fantasy is? You know, oh, for... Com yeah, yeah. Compared to then? And, like, oh, and yeah. how so... How do you make... How do you adjust for that in your in your books? Well, I mean, right? I... You know, I write what I write, which is... Y'all label it and figure out how to market it later. Um, but, you know, what I can do now is a lot different from when I got started. You know, um, I used to make me tone down heroines. You tone down a whole lot of different stuff. You know, I've always had a lot of multicultural characters. You know, nice. back in the day, it was like, well... Let's downplay that a little bit. Now it's, you know. Now they want to. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, like Darling was, and Maris was screamingly gay back in the day. And it's like, we don't really, you know, back in the <laughs> 80s and 90s, it's like, oh. True, true. You know, and now it's like. <laughs> yeah, right. With that in, in mind, do you feel like um, society is influenced by what we write or what you write or are you like is it vice versa or you, you know um i'm not really i mean i write what i write you know like i said yeah. my characters go back to um like the league i've been doing since 1978 okay 
<laughs> you know, Dark Hunter, I started, I published the first short story in 84. <laughs> so, you know, and really, well, I like to think the styles change, the characters really haven't. Okay. So, but um, in terms of society, I mean, there, there have been a lot of changes over the years. So. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed that, you know, you do, you do have like, I, I guess, do you have graphic novels? Is oh, that what yeah, it is? Yeah. And yeah. like, how, like, what was the approach like with that? And how did you, how did you put in your voice as far as like how those characters were drawn and stuff? I have a lot of creative control. You know, the Devil Brothers. I worked very closely with them. Okay. I went to school for sequential arts uh, originally, so you know, I just can't draw with a flip. <laughs> you know, I, I try, but I, I'm a, I'm a decent graphic artist. Uh -huh. When it, you know, I've got a hand that's paralyzed, so I really can't. I was there to make everybody else feel good. <laughs> I gratefully took the last place in the class. It's like, you will never suck at as bad at art as I do. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, I was that student. But, um, you know, I, I work very closely with them. And, you know, they're, they're really, they have some of the best artists that they work with. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it looks amazing. Uh, and then as far as, like, because you write both adult novels and uh, YA novels like what is the major difference between writing the two and like you know the challenges of, of writing between adult and YA um, I, you know I write the YA just like I did the adult yeah. the only difference is the contents you know I'm not gonna have them cuss as much um, or well they do but I'm they they cross more creatively <laughs> you know kind of like my son you yeah, know, okay yeah you know um but it, it's not a true cussing say you know uh -huh. get in trouble um you know and, and there's no sex in them so okay you know, okay they just think about it a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah what is, what is your next plan i guess for those uh, well the next series um which is supposed to go into i say we it's the royally me and the characters uh shadows of fire which I don't have a date for yet, but that's where we go into the future. I don't oh, want to get okay. spoilers too much, but um, we're going to get, you know, the Chronicles of Nick were set when Nick's in yeah. the high school, for those who don't know. And then we have the Cyprian Malachi, and people who don't know the series are like, what? <laughs> but they have to go into the future to deal with one of the big demon overlords. Okay. That they couldn't corral in the present time period, uh -huh. so they have to go face him into the future. And then the last four books will take place in our current timeline so yeah it sounds exciting it makes sense in my head <laughs> it makes sense when i write it I right promise. When and then of course there's never more which is a book okay. apocalyptic okay um, we've got book one out and hopefully i'll be able to get to book two very soon oh okay so it hasn't not yet yeah but. i'm working on book two so how many books is it in chronicles of nick now um there are eight that have been published wow that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so happy that, you know, you've been able to, to go this long and still write and write um, for fantasy and, and such. And, like, you know, especially for a woman writer, you know, I mean, a lot of times they kind of get neglected. But do you feel like that they're being more recognized nowadays? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, back when I first got started, I, you know, Back in the 80s when I had uh, my military SF that I did, I had to do it under a male pseudonym. Okay. Because it was, women really couldn't get a lot of traction back then. You're writing more that. Yeah. And then I had an editor who was, I really want to say, I, I'm a big fan of your stuff. You know, this is back when you, we did conventions, but not, you, you didn't get a lot of FaceTime with people. You didn't have websites, so they didn't yeah. know anybody looked like. So I got an, e uh, not an email. I got a snail mail letter. Okay from an editor inviting me to submit a novel to them. I'm like, okay, I can get a proposal together real fast. So, you know, I sat there and took a little bit of time off work to do the proposal, send it off to him. I want him thinking, I sent it under my name. And then I get back this rejection where, oh, we don't do women's fiction. Uh... He wouldn't even look at it. I'm like, wait, but you invited me to submit to you. And it's space assassins. <laughs> it's not, you know, at that time, really women's fiction. It's yeah. a military brutal SF novel. <laughs> not like a chick flick no, thing. Not yeah. Even yeah, it was before all that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I, I'm not sure how this, okay. I don't think they'll be interested in this. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much, Sherilyn, for, for your time, and, and I hope you have a good day five, rest of day five. <laughs> oh, I get more signings, super fans. Yes, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you,